What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with a brand new WWE Elite 2-in-1 review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 105 Dom Mysterio and Johnny Gargano figures. Now, these figures are actually available right now at ringsidecollectibleswrestlingfigures.com, so you guys can go over there, grab them using code MDTOYS, of course, man, but I am excited for these today because we have a lot of great things going on. First of all, we have our updated Dom over here, but over here, man, we got some stuff going on that I did not expect whatsoever, and the last time we got an update on this figure it was not coming to fruition but we're going to dive into all those things man but these figures look great we do have our new packaging over here you guys can sound off in the comment section below do you like the new packaging are you a yay are you a nay you can let me know down in the comment section below i'm gonna be real with you i don't really like it i don't really like it man it just i i, I don't know i just don't really it reminds me a lot of like basic figures and the standard box size is okay but just like the coloration and then the white and the red then you have this like half thing going on on here. I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it personally. It's definitely not my favorite packaging of all time. It's it's down it's downward on the totem pole in terms of ranking, and maybe that could be a video one day. Ranking packaging for WWE elites. But I don't know. It just it almost looks unfinished or something. Or or so I don't I don't know what's going on, man. But here is our Dom Dom figure. We were really impressed with the way he looked at San Diego Comic Con. I thought he was one of my favorite figure reveals, like as far as how great the figure turned out. You guys can see here, here's the name, the series, just a gigantic. Uh, amount of space like right here for nothing what like what are we doing here big old logo I, I don't know man just let me know down below but on the side you do get Dom Dom there looking like Kid Gohan or something series 105 you got Dom there on the back you get Dom his name you get some stuff going on and then you have the rest of the figures in the set with a lot of greatness in here man I'm really excited for this wave as we're going to review over the next few days but on the side you get his name there WWE Elite logo and then over here we have Johnny football basketball baseball and he is looking pretty damn good over here. Looking like hero figs in the flesh over there in the head sculpt department. We do have Johnny Gargano, Johnny Gargano series, Johnny Gargano on the side and then of course you have Johnny there and then uh, same stuff going on over here, his name on the side and that is pretty much our packaging for our WWE Elite Series 105 Johnny Gargano and Dom Dom figures man but again man we won't know how good these figures are until we crack them out of the packaging and find out what the hell they're all about man so with that being said let's wait no further let's dive into the figures find out what they're about put them on the rotating base and see how Johnny Gargano and Dom Dom come together. Alright man, so here's Dominic Mysterio and Johnny Gargano out of the packaging, man. And one thing you're gonna notice immediately is they fixed the Johnny Gargano syndrome, man. They actually gave him kick pads that are not short, man. I mean, you gotta tip the cap here, man. This is a huge improvement. They improved Dominic's skin tone. They fixed AJ Styles' torso. They fixed the Johnny Gargano syndrome. I mean, dude, we are making hella strides over here, man. This is truly unbelievable. So they fixed the Johnny Gargano syndrome. I did not expect this. You guys know that we did ask them about this at San Diego Comic Con in my official interview with the Mattel design team. And here they are fixing the thing live and in person. I mean, it's unbelievable, man. This is great stuff. So I was completely blown away by that as I unboxed this figure. So that is, I am happy to report there is no Johnny Gargano syndrome on this figure. And that means that maybe it's gone for good, man. So I was ecstatic cracking that out of the packaging. I mean, this, this whole wave seems very legitimate. I don't know where these guys are going to end up in the ranking. And I know we're only in review number one out of all the set. But I don't know, man. This could be a really groundbreaking ranking, but I do have my gripes with the figures, which of course we're going to get into as we proceed through, but let's shut the hell up and dive into Johnny Gargano's accessories first, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Dominic Mysterio after we have completely reviewed everything else. Alright man, so diving into Johnny Gargano's accessories, you don't get a ton, right? You get the entrance vest and, and two pairs of interchangeable hands, which, you know what, Brad? I can forgive it because they didn't give us Johnny Gargano syndrome. I mean, that right there, they could have given just the figure itself with nothing, and I would have been alright with it. However, when you get into the meat and potatoes of this entrance vest, I actually like this a lot, and I think it's very cleverly designed by Mattel over here. You guys can see you get the Johnny emote right there, which I think is great. Great, like, sculpts on here. And again, I can really appreciate a nice entrance accessory if it's sleeveless. If it's sleeveless, I can I can dap you up all day, man. You give some sleeves to this son of a bitch, and I'm gonna have to come after you a little bit. But I like the white panel here. What's really clever about this is you can't see nothing on the back. You're like, how the hell do you get in here? You actually unflap this, and it has these three little rings right there. 
that pop through these holes, and it's actually kind of satisfying to push on there, especially if he's wearing the figure. Like, if it's unclasped, like, not on the figure, it's kind of hard to clasp together, but you can push these pegs through these holes, and it'll mash up right there, and it's just so well designed, man. Is this the best rubber accessory ever? I don't know about that, but you can see the zipper in there. I mean, this is very nice. I, I actually enjoy this rubber accessory a hell of a lot. Very, very nice. Great job. Now, outside of that, you get the world going round mic holding hands, and they actually included his wedding band right there, which is a nice touch. And then he also comes with wide open ricochet. Wait a minute. Did they adjust the size of these? Are they no longer Kawhi Leonard claw hands? Hold up a sec. I'll hold the damn phone, Bradley. Now, I may have to hit up Mattel or something, but the fingers on here or something is skinnier about these hands. They don't look as long. Are you guys seeing this? They don't look as, like, long and skinny. Am I tripping? Are they no longer Kawhi Leonard ricochet entrance style hands? They look adjusted and they look better. Am I, like, look at this. What am I seeing right here, man? I mean, look at the, look at the effort put in right Right there if they change that that's crazy i'm gonna have to hit up mattel on this one this, this is a groundbreaking uh, discovery right here but you get a pair of formerly known as Kawhi leonard ricochet entrance handshaking style hands all right so getting into the hero figs i mean johnny gargano head sculpt no but seriously though he definitely resembles hero figs man i mean that's just how it is but i mean i don't hate this head sculpt by any means i think it does definitely look like gargano and it you know it captures the likeness of gargano for sure i like the hair sculpt i like the head you know and everything going on with it i like the likeness i like the beard it's it's very nice. It's a very nice head sculpt. I think it looks like Gargano. Going down, they do give him the ripped up torso, which is fantastic. You know, Johnny Gargano is a very lean, mean fighting machine. What's interesting is I'm pretty sure these are new arms, man. I'm pretty sure these are new arms. I don't think we've seen these arms before. They look very, very similar to the ones you're going to see on Dominic Mysterio, but they are different. They are different. I'm telling you, they're more striated. Like, they have a better lean build to them, almost more cut. And I like them a lot. I think this is a fantastic torso and arm choice for Finn Balor. If they don't give this arm choice and torso to Finn Balor, I'm gonna fight everyone watching this video. But this looks really damn good. I like the coloration. Now, I will be honest, I mean, it kind of, like, this gear looks like you combined his last two elites together. That's what it looks like to me. And I don't know the official branding or what the inspiration behind this gear was. Maybe somebody can let me know down below. I really like the combination of the matte and shiny black right there on the attire, because it really, I'm pretty sure that's exactly how it looks, so that's kind of crazy. He's got the same thigh size, which is very nice. He's on ball joints. He's got the under knee wrap right here. Got his nice knee pads in here. Very colorful gear as well. And there it is, man. There it is. No Johnny Gargano syndrome for this guy. I mean, that is absolutely money. How beautiful. No pinless joints, which I actually support. I don't really care for the pinless joints that much. But uh, these are money, man. No damn Johnny Gargano syndrome. Who'd have thunk it, man? What a time to be alive. And uh, they fixed it in the past, I know. But we thought for sure this guy was going to have Johnny Gargano syndrome. And they fixed him before he officially came out. I mean, you got to tip the cap. Now, this figure is very nice because he poses around nice. I did notice some staining here on the bicep and upper arm. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it's it's red. He's got like red staining here and red staining here, and I don't know where the hell that came from, but he's on ball joints. He has double jointed knees and he has double jointed arms, so I mean, any pose you want to get this guy in, it's gonna happen, man. I mean, he doesn't have butterfly joints, which isn't, you know, the, the best, but you're not gonna have any problems posing this guy around. He, he feels fantastic in hand, and holy shish, he's not on ball joints. That is not something I expected. So he's not on ball joints, so that's something to definitely take note of. He is not on ball joints, man, but he is very posable still, so I don't think you're going to have any issues with that, but let's get into some Johnny football, baseball, basketball comparisons. So for your Johnny Gargano elite figure comparisons, guys, we do have all of them here. Now, I do have the Hall of Champions Johnny Gargano somewhere, the Target exclusive Hall of Champions with the smaller torso. However, amongst the move, I have not been able to find him just yet trying to get the office straight, so I do apologize for that, but from left to right, we do have my custom MDT Hell's Gate Iron Man Champion attire Johnny Johnny Gargano, who dressed like the championship. It looks like a rescue gear, but he is based off the MDT Iron Man Championship, his matchup with Cody Rhodes in the parking lot brawl. You have the Elite 71 Johnny Gargano, or maybe it was Elite 70 Johnny Gargano here in the Spider-Man Venom-esque gear. He did have Johnny Gargano syndrome, but I did a cool fix-up to fix that. That is completely non-customized like painted. This is using a NXT TakeOver Dallas Finn Balor kick pad mold, and it really works nice to fix up your Gargano. You have the Elite 105, and then you have the WWE Elite Fantasia 
Takeover, I guess, Amazon exclusive Johnny Gargano, which is a very nice gear in the Wolverine gear. And all of these are super nice. None of them have Johnny Gargano syndrome. So, I mean, that is absolutely a plus, but this is nice, man. Very nice to see. Love to see it. All the different things. Beautiful work here. And all of Johnny's figures are so good. I mean, probably the Hall of Champions is the worst because it had the Daniel Bryan torso and it had Johnny Gargano syndrome. But I don't know, man, just the lore of the Johnny Gargano figures, man. And they always give him the entrance vest. He's just a very toyetic guy, in my opinion. Very underrated. And then for another Johnny Gargano figure comparison, here is Wifey right here, Candice LeRae. And I do believe she also has a new figure coming out and some basics and stuff. So that's pretty nice there. But we do have the Candice LeRae with the Johnny Gargano. And I think these scale pretty damn nice. I think he's like 5'10 and she's like 5 foot flat. So yeah, I like that. And she has shin cut. Uh, this isn't a Candice LeRae video, but uh, they look pretty damn good up next to each other. I think these get the job done. That's a good uh, Johnny Gargano family portrait figure form thing. All right, guys, so getting into Dominic Mysterio's accessories, we do get sort of the same thing as Johnny Gargano. You get an entrance style accessory, and then you get two pairs of interchangeable hands. Now, with Dominic Mysterio, you do, you do get cloth goods, and it is a Judgment Day t-shirt. Now, we did see Dom Dom way back at the Mattel Design Center for WrestleMania 39, and he had the John Cena shirt. Now, he comes with the appropriate shirt, which is the Judgment Day tee, and it's nothing crazy. It's just the Judgment Day graphic with, like, the Grim Reaper, and he's got, you know, the, the scale or the weight balance thing. I can't remember the damn name of that thing, but it says Judgment Day. It looks good. It's a nice accessory. You can buy multiples of these, throw it on all your Judgment Day members, if you will, but still a really nice accessory. Never complain about cloth goods a day in my life. However, one thing we are going to complain about are these hands here. He gets mic holding hands, and you guys will see he does have the Mysterio tattoo on the knucks right there, which is nice, and I discovered it because I was going to put him out of the packaging. I was going to put him on the rotating base with his fists, but I noticed that he didn't have the damn knuckle tats, so I'm like, oh, he must not have had these at the time of this, but they put him on the mic holding hand and not the fisted hands, man. And then the tattoos look a little bit different here. You guys can see on the right hand, they, they, it looks a little bit more full there. And then on the mic holding hands, they're not as full and dark, and you guys can see he's missing the knuckle tats. So, god dang it. So you guys can see there, he's missing the knuckle tats, which is a bit of a goof, you know? That upsets me. We need those knuckle tats, man. I like the Mysterio knuckle tats. I think it's fire. All right, guys, so getting into Dominic Mysterio, starting with the head sculpt, I think this is fantastic. Now, one thing you're going to notice immediately is his skin tone. They updated the skin tone, made it more accurate to Dominic, and I think it looks so good, man. When you see this comparison, you're not even going to believe it. I think they did such a great job on it. It is so damn nice, but Dominic Mysterio is looking good. I really enjoy the head sculpt. I think it looks just like Dom Dom. He's got his nice haircut in there. He's got the mullet going on. He's got his purple and black attire going on. You guys know that he wears like the torso shirts or whatever, like a singlet store, sort of best deal. Got the DM on there for Dominic Mysterio. He's got all of his tattoo stuff going all the way around. Double jointed arms which look good. Black wrist tape. I mean, dude, they did a great job on this figure, man. I think they did an excellent job on there. Is he on ball joints? He is on ball joints, so that is nice. His last figure was also on ball joints, going way back in Elite 89, I think it was. But you have the purple and black going all the way down. You have the you know, the same Mysterio style logos here. Nothing on the butt or nothing. I'd really like to see his like WrestleMania 39 gear versus Rey Mysterio. But you guys can see pinless knees here, which I just think make the figure so stiff right there. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's definitely stiff. I mean, I don't know exactly what's going on there, but you have the same Judgment Day patterns going on. Black, white, and purple going all the way around. And then he has his nice shoes in there. And it's a very serviceable figure. I'm actually enjoying Dom Dom quite a bit. Now this figure is on ball joints, so you can pose him around pretty damn good, man. I mean, he can do the splits the kick forward again that just that knee right there it's just so tight i don't like pinless joints for that reason the arms have been fine for mattel i think but the knees really lose me but let's get into some dominic figure comparisons now first up we do have a dominic mysterio elite figure comparison with his first elite up next to his most recent elite and you guys can just see how much better this looks i mean short hair baby face not as many tattoos skin tones wrong this just looks so much better and it's the same formula he doesn't have knee pads i think knee pads would have helped this figure just a little bit as far as like details, but I still really, really like this Dominic, man. This is still such a good figure, but you know, he's added tattoos. This is when I couldn't stand Dominic. Now I actually appreciate him a lot. I think he's grown on me significantly, but really fun figure and, and cool to compare the two Dominic Mysterios right here. Another figure comparison we have is the Rey Mysterio Top Talents Macho Man Elite up next to the Dominic Mysterio, and these scale pretty well together. I honestly, I still love this Rey Mysterio figure so much. It's such a damn good Rey Mysterio, but this is such a cool comparison as well to see 
father and son elites right there. And uh, it's just nice to see. And these guys kind of match a little bit. Not quite, but, you know, maybe uh, we do have the greatest hits Rey Mysterio elite to, come, you know, to pair with that Dominic. So I guess you get that. But this is still cool to see these guys up next to each other. Anytime you can put Rey and Dom up next to each other in figure form, you know, it's a trip. And then for your Judgment Day figure comparisons, we do have the full Judgment Day up here up next to Dominic. You have kind of pretty much all of their updated looks. I mean, we do have my updated Rhea did get lost somewhere. I was like customizing it and then I think I did like one more fix up to her on surgery or something like that and then the figure got missing and now again man, I until I get the office completely set up and cleaned out and all completely set up, there's going to be figures missing and that's just where we are right now. I mean, it looks like a damn bomb went the hell off in here. So we definitely got to get that fixed but at the same time, this Rhea Ripley, the Elite 84 still fits in nicely I think amongst the Judgment Day. I don't think it really hinders it that much but uh, I definitely need to track down another Rhea and stuff like that and we do have more coming so that'll be nice to see. However, we also have Damian Priest here. His first figure fits better with the purple in with the Judgment Day and then we have my custom Finn Balor where we have the PWR Lucha jacket on there that really conforms it, makes it look more like Judgment Day and we do have him coming in Elite 107 and figure images of that should be coming soon. We got Elite 105, 106 images were released the other day so 107 should probably be here by Christmas so maybe we'll have Finn Balor in here before Christmas time but it is cool to see all of these up next to each other. I think they just look super bad eh? and again I wish my Rhea was updated right here but her her new figure doesn't even do her justice to be honest. I don't think it's still updated enough. I need to get an ultimate made or I know they're going to make an ultimate Rhea but still I still like to see you know the full judgment day all together and they look really badass up next to each other. But I think that pretty much wraps up our 2 in 1 WWE Elite Series 105 Johnny Gargano and Dominic Mysterio figure review man. Really enjoying both of these figures. I mean if I had to chalk it up to some cons about the different figures. I don't really particularly care for this head sculpt on Johnny Gargano. I don't think it's his best head sculpt of all time. I, I like that we're getting a bit different look. You know, he's kind of smirking and smiling there. But I don't really like it for my Johnny. Even if it does look like Johnny, it's just, I just think that this is not necessarily, I guess, a step backwards. But that's probably my only con with the figure. I love the formula. I like the posability. I like the entrance vest. I like the gear. I mean, this Johnny Gargano figure is damn good. And I'm enjoying the stuff. I mean, it does have the staining on the shoulder, which we touched on. But, oh, my rotating base died. I guess I'll just keep the thing looping. But this figure is still really damn good, man. It, it's unbelievable, honestly. It's really great. The formula, I love this new arm mold we have going. I think it's a new arm mold, at least off of my standards, especially in the double-jointed arm department. The Dominic is sick as hell. I love the updated skin tone. I like the head sculpt. The mullet looks great. Tattoos look really good. The gear is nice and Judgment Day-like. I like everything going on with the Dom. The only thing I don't like about the Dom is the pinless joints. I've touched on this before. I think the pinless joints really make the legs stiff, man. When you go to bend the knees, they're very stiff, and I may have to make it a thing where once I remove a figure from packaging, I might just have to hit it with a hair dryer just to get that smoothness or try to get that smoothness because I can't stand that stiffness. It feels like the legs are going to break. It reminds me a lot of the early on, you know, the newer basics. Like, I'm talking about right when they made that switch, the legs were very stiff. If you tried to bend the, if you try to buy a modern basic, like go to Walmart right now, as you're watching this, go buy a modern basic, take it out of the packaging and just try to bend the knee without any heat or anything. Try to like bend the knee, just try to bend the knee and you will end up either snapping the kick pad off, it'll end up warping, or it'll end up bending in some way. It is not going to be buttery smooth, and that is something that, you know, old basics had and stuff like that, which I, and I will, I'm on that hill, man. I'm planting my flag on that hill. However, I still like the figure a lot. I think both figures are damn good. I think this is going to be a really hard set to rank, to be honest with you, and a lot of these figures are going to be in that top 10 countdown, man. There's so many damn good figures in Elite 105, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap this thing up, man. If you guys see some figures that you enjoy, you definitely need to grab them, man. Cash in your money in the bank briefcase at ringsidecollectibles.com. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But had a ton of fun, you know, reviewing these figures and diving into the different things. Huge shout out to Mattel for fixing Johnny Gargano syndrome and ending the plague of existence of that disease. I mean, unbelievable. You need to go to Steve Ozer's posts and Bill McKenna's posts and tell them thank you on there and tag me in it. That's what you need to do. That is going to wrap up the video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. A huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys for the continued support on the channel. Always love and appreciate those guys over there. That is going to wrap the video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.